The Arab Spring, Change and Resistance in the Middle East, a book edited by Mark Kass. As the title indicates, the book discusses the Arab Spring thoroughly, giving an insight of what happened before, during, and after the Arab Spring. What is appealing about the cover is the fact that the author avoided using the cliché graphics and sketches and rather offered an actual picture of a rebel standing amidst the Libyan revolution, hence allowing the reader to actually be part and imagine how the revolution actually looked like. As the book discusses the Arab Spring, it gives an insight on what happened and what raised or what caused the Arab Spring. It gives all the details of what happened during the Arab Spring and the aftermath of the Arab Spring as well. Another interesting part of the book is the fact that it offers the regional and international context of the Arab Spring, allowing the reader to know where countries, whether they're neighboring or other countries around the world, were and are currently standing in regarding to the phenomenon of the Arab Spring. The book covers all the ground, it makes all the necessary distinctions between the popular uprisings, and it also draws many useful lessons. The author uses a very easy to understand language, yet a very descriptive one that allows the reader to visualize what took place during the uprisings and have him stand amidst all the revolutions that took place in different countries of the Arab world. A book that I would highly recommend for all scholars and students who should, I believe, know more about the Arab Spring and what happened, what caused it, what happened during, and what happened after the Arab Spring. This was Badr Tuqan with a book review for News 360.